Today, we are going to start our series on Python programming. And um, to do that, we will start from the scratch. We will not just um, start running up uh, because we want to carry the beginners along. We want that if you start our series, you will be able to set up your system, whether you are using Windows or Mac. So the first thing to do when you have your system is to go to the Python website or to go to Google and just, or if you are using Microsoft Edge, whichever one, to go to your browser and just type Python. When you type Python, you, you enter and see what it has for you. You click, you see the first one that will come up, python.org. Welcome to python.org. You can click on the download or you can just click on the welcome to python.org. Okay, when it loads, you will see it taking you to the welcome to, to the Python uh, page. All you need to do is click on download. Then it will show you the latest version of Python. Uh, if you are looking for a different OS, it will just show you the version that fits into your operating system. Mac OS, others, Linux, Windows. I'm on Windows, so I will just click on uh, download Python 3.0. 3.0 so if you click on it you see it is downloading python here already as we speak so i'm going to pause the video and wait till it finishes or rather it is moving very fast so we can wait uh it's going it's going okay Okay, that's finished. Okay, so I can open it in, uh, I prefer to open it in folder. So click on open in folder. Um, it will not display in the folder where it was downloaded. Or you go to your downloads folder, you see there, whatever kind of system mm -hmm. you're using. All you need to do is right click on it. When you right click, you say run as admin. Run as admin. I click yes to allow it. And you click install now and click on add python ext to path i'm going to cancel that because i didn't click on add python python ext to path i'll just pause the video and then we'll start that process again okay that's close so we go back right click run as administrator yes okay you click on select add path to python exec file to path and click on install now it includes most of the stuff that you need so you click install now and wait for the installation to finish so it's installing the python 3.13.0 developer library standard library and a lot of other uh, version 
related Python store are being installed in the system. You also install the Python documentation. DLC for TK support. VIP bootstrap and speed. Okay, so when it is done, you just click close. And then for um there are many IDEs you can use. Uh, what you can use to, if you have listened to my video on um, programming for business, I mentioned a lot of IDEs there. I think the part two, I mentioned a lot of IDEs there. I'm referring to this video or this first one. Either the part one or part two, you see a lot of ideas there, what they are used for, why we need them. All of them are explained in these two videos. So, but the next thing we, we need to do, there, there are a lot of ideas. There's Spysham for Python ID. There's, um, we can use VS Code. Um, PySham has a community version and it has um, um, a premium version, so to say. It's by JetBrains, the, the Python ID for data science and web development. We also have, um, if you want to download PySham, you can download it from here. But for this course, I'm going to use VS Code. It's called VS Code or Visual Studio Code. You can see there are many, most times the uh, search engine or people always compare the two of them together. They have their strengths, they have their weaknesses. So if I click on this VS Code, all I need to do is um, um, click on it and then it will show me VS Code for 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 my system you see it will just pick it very fast because it knows that i'm using the windows so you just say download for windows if you want to if you are using a mac you also see download for mac and these are the things that you see in VS Code, and you can use VS Code to run many languages. That's why I prefer to use VS Code because I don't run only Python, so I use VS Code so that I can easily switch between other of my programs. So if I download, if I go to my browser and open the VS Code environment, Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. I click on download and it will start downloading. VS Code is being downloaded into the system and uh, when it is done, we will now install it. So I will pause the video and wait till it finishes and then I will come back. 